I'm Miss Ginsburg with No Adam, and today we're going to be reading Patterns in the Sky. This is a student reader in Unit 1. Earth and Moon. Night Science. Nancy often works at night. She waits until the sun sets. She goes out into the woods with a net. She looks for bats to study. Nancy is a scientist. Scientists ask questions. They carry out experiments. They observe and measure. This is how they answer their questions. Science is all knowledge learned from experiments. Bats fly at night. Nancy looks for bats at night because bats sleep during the day. They sleep hanging upside down. So here is a bat upside down sleeping. Bats wake up when the sun sets. They fly around at night. They look for food to eat. When the sun rises in the morning, they go back to sleep. So bats wake up when the sun begins to set. Day and night. It is hard to see bats at night. Night is the time between the sun's setting and its rising. Night ends when the sun appears in the sky. The sun appears to rise every morning. It appears to set every night. Day is the time between the sun's rising and its setting. The sun appears to rise every morning. Patterns. Nancy knows the sun will rise every morning. She knows this begins the day. Nancy also knows the sun will set every evening. She knows this begins the night. Day and night are patterns. A pattern is something that happens in a regular and repeated way. So here's the sun setting. Day and night happen because of how the sun lights up Earth. The sun is a star at the center of a solar system. All stars are made of gases. The gases are so hot that they give off heat and light. This is why the sun shines. Earth is a planet. There are eight planets in our solar system. The planets orbit the sun. To orbit means to travel in a circle around an object. So here's our solar system, and here it says eight planets orbit the sun. Can you find Earth? It's right there. Earth and the sun. The sun always shines, but it only lights up half of Earth at a time. This is because Earth rotates. To rotate means to move in a circle around an axis. An axis is a straight line that an object rotates around. Day happens for the half of Earth that faces the sun. Night happens for the part of Earth that faces away from the sun. It takes Earth one complete day and night to rotate once. Earth rotates. This causes day and night. The night sky. The sun is the only star we can see during the day. At night, we cannot see the sun. We can see other stars. These stars appear smaller than the sun because they are so far away. The moon also appears in the night sky. Sometimes we can see the moon during the day as well. So here's the moon at night. And here we cannot see stars during the day 
but sometimes we can still see the moon. Earth and the moon. The moon orbits Earth in the same way that Earth orbits the sun, but the moon does not shine like the sun. The light of the sun bounces off the moon. It is the light from the sun that makes the moon appear to shine at night. Sometimes Nancy uses the light from the moon to look for bats in the dark, but the moon's light changes from day to day. The moon cycle. On some nights, the moon looks round and bright. On other nights, the moon looks only half lit. Sometimes we cannot see the moon at all. The moon cycle describes how the moon appears to change from Earth as it orbits Earth. The moon's appearance from Earth is another pattern. It happens because of how the sun shines on the moon as the moon orbits Earth. So here, the moon looks round and bright. The sun always lights up half of the moon, but we do not always see the entire half of the moon that is lit by the sun. Sometimes we do. This is when the moon appears round and bright, like here. Sometimes we cannot see the moon at all. This happens when the entire half of the moon lit by the sun faces away from the earth. And sometimes we see part of the moon that is lit by the sun. So some nights we cannot see the moon at all, like here. And then on other nights we see different parts of the moon lit up. How we see the moon changes in a pattern. We see the bright round moon once every month. We see each of the other shapes of the moon once every month. This is because it takes 29 days for the moon to orbit the Earth. This is one month. The moon cycle is a pattern. It happens in a regular and repeated way. Who are scientists? Whenever you ask questions and use data to answer those questions, you are being a scientist. Scientists do many different things. Scientists ask questions. Scientists use models. Scientists observe. Scientists make predictions. Scientists read. Scientists conduct experiments. An experiment is a scientific test. It gives scientists new knowledge. Scientists communicate. They draw and write. They also argue and explain. This scientist observes the night sky. Section two, sun and shadows, telling time. Jamie eats breakfast at seven o'clock in the morning. He knows what time it is because he uses a clock. And Jamie knows what day it is because he has a calendar. Calendars tell us what day it is in the week. They also tell us what month it is in the year. Clocks and calendars help us tell time. People haven't always told time with clocks or calendars. They looked to the sky instead. People could predict when the moon would be round and bright. It appears that way every time the moon reaches that spot in its orbit around Earth. People use the movement of the sun across the sky to tell time. The sun does not stay in one place in the sky. It begins the day in one part of the sky. It always rises in the east. It then appears to move across the sky. It ends the day in a different part of the sky. It sets in the west. 
The path of the sun is a pattern. If we know where the sun is at one moment, we can predict where it will be at another moment. Shadows. People also used shadows to tell time. Shadows are dark shapes created when an object blocks light. Shadows change when the sun's position in the sky changes. So here we have the same ball in the same place. Here's the shadow it creates at 12 p.m. And here's the shadow at 3 p.m. Is it different? The path of the stars. At night, we cannot see the sun, but people could use the moon and the stars to tell time. The moon and stars appear to follow the same path as the sun. They appear to rise in the east. They move across the sky in a similar pattern to the sun. They appear to set in the west. The sun, moon, and stars do not actually move. They appear to move because Earth is rotating. Wow, I learned a lot reading patterns in the sky and I had a lot of fun too. I hope that you learned a lot and that you had fun also. I'll see you tomorrow with another book. Bye.